Hello CS Pro users and welcome to CS Pro Video Tutorial 7 Add Edits to the Data Entry Application In this tutorial we will introduce a check to make sure that married people are at least 12 years old. If you still have your CS Pro application open from a previous exercise, close it now. CS Pro may prompt you to save changes. If so, click Yes. We will return to the data entry application created in Tutorial 3 and used in Tutorial 4. Click on File, Open from the main menu. Verify that you are still in the My CS Pro Tutorial folder. Click on the MyEntry.ENT application and click on Open. We will perform this check that marital status is valid for age immediately after the keyer enters the marital status. Get ready to write logic by clicking on the logic icon on the toolbar or pressing Control L or selecting View Logic from the main menu. Press Control T to show the names instead of the labels on the forms tree. Click on the plus next to person record to open up the forms tree to show the items on that form. Click on marital status. The frame on the right hand side of the screen should show proc marital underscore status at the top. Note that proc is short for procedure. We put our logic in the procedure for marital status because we want it to execute immediately after the operator keys this field. Type in logic exactly as you see here. You have typed logic in the CS Pro language. Like all procedural languages, the system must check to make sure there are no syntax errors. This is called compiling. Click on my dictionary underscore FF to show all the logic. Compile the logic by clicking the compile button on the toolbar or pressing control K or selecting file compile from the main menu. If CS Pro does not find any errors you will see this message. Compile successful at the time the program was compiled. If you see a dialog box that says compile failed, you have typed something incorrectly. You will see a red dot on the line where the error has occurred. In this example I misspelled error message. Click OK, go back to the line and correct the error. I will compile again, this time by pressing Control K. Since I have no syntax errors, my program compiles correctly. We are ready to test the edit. That is, we are ready to run the data entry application and make sure our logic is working properly. Run CS Entry by clicking on the traffic light icon on the toolbar or by pressing Control R or by selecting File Run from the main menu. CS Pro will ask you to save changes. Click Yes. CS Entry will ask you to select a data file. Type Tutorial .dat if it is not already there or simply select the file by clicking on it and clicking open. Type in any operator ID. I will use A, B, C. 
click OK. Now we are in the data entry application. Since I'm using a file in which I've already entered data, I am going to go into Add Mode. Click Unmode and click on Add Case. CS Pro will now display the questionnaire in which I'll be entering data. I enter the next household ID, which will be 101. Press Enter. Type 10 into the age field. Type 1 into the sex field. Type 1 into the marital status field. The error message appears too young to be married. Press F8 to clear the message. The cursor moves to the next line ready to enter the next person. CS Pro has allowed us to continue even though we have an invalid marital status for age 10. We will modify the program to re-enter marital status if it is not consistent with age. We do this with the re-enter statement. We'll exit data entry mode by clicking on File, Exit. CS Pro asks if we want to discard this questionnaire. To do so, click on Discard. Return to the program logic by clicking on the Logic button or pressing Control L or by selecting View Logic from the main menu. I add the re-enter statement after the error message statement. This tells CS Pro to re-enter the marital status field after the error message is displayed. That is, the cursor will be placed in the marital status item on the form. I press Control K to compile the program. We see an error. The error is that CS Pro is expecting a semicolon at the end of the statement. All CS Pro statements must terminate with a semicolon. I click OK, go to the line where the semicolon needs to be placed, and place the semicolon. Press Control K, and my compile is successful. I am now ready to launch and test the program. I click on the traffic light to launch the data entry program. I will continue to work with the file tutorial.dat, click on open, and enter my operator ID of A, B, C, click OK. I will go into add mode by clicking on mode, add case. I will enter household 101 and I will use an age of 10, sex of male, and enter married. We get the message too young to be married. I press F8 to clear the message and the cursor remains at marital status and we can now correct marital status to not married or I can tab back to age and correct the age. Here I will correct the age to 22. Leave the sex as male. Leave the marital status as married. For the second line I will enter an age of 20, sex of 2, and marital status of married. This time we did not get the error message because age and marital status are consistent. I will enter one more line, an age of 2, sex of female, and a marital status of married. Again we get the message too young to be married. Press F8 to clear. 
And this time I will correct marital status, making it to not married. I have completed entering all the persons in the household. To finish entering persons, click on navigation and group or press control slash. The cursor now goes to type of household. I will enter one for single family and for type roof I will enter two metal. CS Pro asks us if we want to accept this questionnaire case. Here I can say yes to accept it or if I need to return to make a correction I will click on no. I will accept this questionnaire by clicking on yes. CS Pro is now ready to enter the next questionnaire. Close data entry by clicking on File, Exit. You are now in the CS Pro Application Designer. Exit the designer by clicking on File, Exit. In this tutorial, you have learned how to enter logic in CS Pro when doing data entry. Advanced tutorials will have much more detailed logic for things like checking many more combinations of errors, controlling skip patterns during data entry, and many of the other functions of CS Pro. It's time for you to add some of your own edits to the CS Pro data entry program to help you learn CS Pro logic. Examples can be found in the CS Pro Helps and in the CS Pro Examples folder.